Hey Russell fam, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a radio interview I did about homeschooling. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. Here on this channel, we talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and everything in between. I am a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. We also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. Make sure to check that out. There, I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. We also have a store. I will leave a link down in the description box if you want to check that out. New products are added weekly. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. That just lets you know every time we upload a new video. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. In today's video, I am going to share with you a live radio interview that I did. I was asked to do this homeschool video by a local radio host named Kim Wade. He asked me to come on the show and share my homeschool information and to share my blog and YouTube channel stuff. This is my second time I have been on his radio show. I love sharing my homeschool information with as many mamas as I can. So I hope you enjoy this radio show. So without further ado, uh, I meant to ask you before, how would you like to be uh, introduced? You can just introduce me as Becky Russell. All right. Well, we have Becky Russell. I was going to say Miss Russell, Mr. and Mr. Russell, Mr. and Mr. Russell, Miss the Russells are here. There you go. The <laughs> Russells are here. The Russells. And we got little Russells in the background here. And uh, uh, they're here to talk about homeschooling. She has some experience in that. And it's more important now that people get, I mean, people's anxiety level is high. They're being threatened with loss of their jobs, the miseducation of their kids, or no education of their kids. And uh, Becky's here to try to give you some guidance if you want guidance. And also, get your pen handy. She's going to throw out some websites and some YouTube videos that you can look at to help navigate. And she's also available for, you know, to call on, et cetera. She's part of a group of, of parents who uh, are also homeschooling. So, Becky, welcome, to w welcome back to WYB. Thank you for having me back. I'm so glad to be here. And I just love telling everybody about homeschooling. There are so many parents out there that are apprehensive about everything that is going on right now. And they're thinking, how can I homeschool? I can't do this. It's too much. I can't, I can't, I can't. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you, you can. If you want to do it, you can do it. Um, here in the state of Mississippi, our homeschool laws are not that strict. We are what people consider a homeschool friendly state. Um, all you have to do is register your child with your attendance officer by the 15th of September of every year and just basically tell them you're homeschooling and that's all you have to do. Mm. Um, if your child is currently in a public or private school, you have to formally withdraw them from that public or private school so that they know that they are going to be homeschooled. Right. And that is all you have to do. There are so many states that have a ton of uh, things that you have to do every year, but here in Mississippi, we don't. Right. And um, I want to tell the parents that work full time that you can homeschool your children if you want to. It's something called night schooling or weekend homeschooling. I homeschool four days a week um, and we have a fun day in there. And so if we don't get those four days done in the seven days, then we do it on a weekend if we need to. Mm -hmm. We do it when we got to get it done. Um, there are tons of online websites uh, that do curriculums for free. There are paid ones that you can do and there are even um, free places that you can go to uh, print out stuff and if you go to russellslovinglife.com that is my blog and also check out russell's loving life on youtube i have tons of videos there where i answer questions i give tips to new homeschool parents um, i give um, support and encouragement i have my email address out there which is becky at russellslovinglife.com if you have any questions i am happy to answer them for you and if for some reason I don't know the answer to that question, I'm going to pull my other homeschool mamas together mm -hmm. and we're going to figure out that answer for you. Wow. We're talking with uh, Becky Russell. And again, throw out your websites and YouTube and, you know, because we got to keep reiterating. That's why you're here. Yes, okay. it is. Russell'slovinglife.com is my blog and Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. And that is where all of that free information is. I don't charge for any information. But I just put it out there because I love homeschooling. I've been doing it since 2000, uh, 2012. I currently have a seventh grader and a second grader. So I am headed into junior high and I am so excited to do it. Awesome. Folks, uh, you got questions 601 879 0002. She can help walk you through it. 
Uh, many of you are experiencing so much anxiety with, I mean, you're seeing your kid's future being whittled away at the whims of some political operators who have no, they, they don't concern, they're not concerned with your job, your health, or your kids. What, what else do you need to see? These people, there's no cavalry coming over the hill to help you, to save you. Dr. Dobbs is, is proven to be so unreliable. Uh, what's going on in here? These people are just, they don't have your best interest at heart. And you, don't, you need to quit apologizing. Well, maybe they just got it wrong. They don't have it wrong. They're purposely doing you wrong. People who don't teach you right will never treat you right. Under any, You've lived long enough to know that. You don't need permission, as Becky said, to homeschool. Becky, tell us, at what point, I mean, it seems to me from where I'm sitting at, once the kids get the fundamentals on reading and learning how to read and write, everything else seems to would get easier, wouldn't it? Oh, the, definitely. My second grader, you know, we have to do phonics and focus on reading and things like that. Mm -hmm. And with my seventh grader, I'm teaching him how to learn is what I'm doing. I, mm -hmm. I lay everything out in front of him and I say, okay, this is what you have to do today read and if you have questions i'm here ask me and i'll explain it to you um and i've for his seventh grade curriculum for the math i even ordered a dvd so it shows him teaches him the lessons shows mm. him how to do some examples and then there's his workbook to do it right so if he has questions i'm there but i want him to become an independent learner and be able to figure out things on his own instead of just going by what somebody says you know one of the things that i found uh, as a learning uh tool when you when you give kids test rather than giving them say a 10 question test and say okay you missed two or three or whatever and uh, you missed four and you fail no rather than doing it that way just say okay you missed the four these are the four we want you to learn so go back over them and so don't leave them hanging and say okay i got a 60 on that test no let them go back and learn the four because if you gave them a 10 question uh quiz regarding the heart and the only question that they missed was where the heart was located. That's pretty fundamental. Oh, exactly. I mean, uh, there are a lot of parents that do not do tests, mm -hmm. but I'm all about the test. Mm -hmm. I do um, do them every week uh, with his math. It's like every five lessons he has a has a test. Mm -hmm. But what he misses, we go over. I'm right. like, oh, you missed this because right. of this. And understand like, why rather than go to the next lesson and they say, okay, well, I got a C in there. At least I'm done with that. Well, you want to match, master the subject matter. That's the game plan as opposed to trying to punish or show whatever you're trying to show by showing, okay, well, he got a 70. 70 is not good enough when he could have got 100, uh, 100 uh, which is 100% understanding of what the lesson was about. Well, and that's the thing is um, <coughs> of every child learns differently and every person teaches differently. Mm -hmm. So when you homeschool, that's one of those things that you have to learn. You have to figure out your child's learning style, your teaching style, and that type of stuff. And mm -hmm. The good thing is both of the kids have my learning style. Mm -hmm. So I know what they're going to struggle with and what they're going to need help with. And we focus on the spiral approach, which is what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. We don't worry about just mastering it and right. moving on. Right. We worry about, okay, you're going to have a test on it and then we'll move on to something else. But then we're kind of going to come back mm -hmm. to make sure that you have learned what we've got. And then next year we'll come back and touch on it again, but go a little further in depth. And that's what we do with spelling and grammar and writing and all of that. We just keep building. It's not, oh, you master it and we're done. Right. Or here you have to know it for this test and then we're going to forget it. Right, right. It, it's not anything like that. And, right. you know, um, standardized testing, homeschool children in Mississippi are not required to do standardized testing. Good. Unless you are going to college, you have to take the ACT or SAT. Yeah. And that's all you have to do. And when my children graduate from high school, I fill out mm -hmm. their transcript and i say okay these are the classes they took these are the grades they made but the state does require me to make them go by the guidelines for the state of mississippi so my children have to have or any homeschool child that is in high school has to have the exact credits and the classes that are required to graduate from high school mm -hmm. um, i know a lot of parents are thinking oh there's accreditation issues and this that and another well the state of mississippi does not require accreditation mm -hmm. whatsoever mm -hmm. and so if they're looking for an accredited um or accreditation for a curriculum you don't have to have it in the state of mississippi good uh, i know i visited the um, charter school there on mcdowell road and uh you know they always say the charter schools always extract the cream of the crop and these kids were not the cream of the crop but many of them who uh, 
school has said had all these problems within three or four months' time. These kids were learning. They were them. They were progressing. And uh, one of the things that they were doing in in the uh, charter school was everything was being reinforced. You know, reading was a part of the math course. The reading was a part of all the courses. Oh, exactly. And 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 everything was reinforcing itself. You know, reinforcing on one another. So there was a I guess a unified approach to learning because the reading is fundamental once they get that down pat it gets easier they learn the va- vocabulary gets larger the whole nine yards well when homeschooling you can focus that one-on-one attention that your child needs and you're not having to teach to the masses in one you know and every child learning something or worried about your child falling in that gap of not mastering the reading skill that they need or the math skill that they're going to need just for basic fundamental stuff that they need in life mm-hmm. how, how 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 do homeschoolers do on the acts and sets and all that kind of stuff because I got a friend who just said his his nephew was homeschooled and got a 34 on the ACT. I don't know. Homeschool kids typically do better <coughs> on the standardized testing and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, our kids take the same ACT prep courses and SAT prep courses mm-hmm. that other schools take. You know, we don't just send them in there, but they get that one-on-one attention from their parents, and we teach them the basic fundamentals that they need to be able to learn on their own. Right. You know, so they learn how to think. Yeah, they learn how to think. Mm -hmm. They're not, you know, programmed to to do what they need to do. Right. Folks, we're talking with Becky Russell. And uh, you want to throw out that website and those YouTube videos where they can get more information and then your contact, et cetera. Oh, yeah. Just go to russellslovinglife.com. And same with YouTube. It's Russell's Loving Life. And my email is Becky at Russell's Loving Life. So just remember Russell's Mm -hmm. Loving Life and just check us out. All right. Good information there, folks. You don't need to be uh, terrified of homeschooling and whether or not you're going to mess it up and all that. Because, again, first of all, the kids are not wasting their time on all that foolishness of getting programmed with things that you don't believe uh, there at your household. And in addition, the time that you're spending uh, on reading, writing, and arithmetic is going to be a lot less than the time they're wasting in school. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, back and forth and all that foolishness. We, Our longest day will be four hours, and that's with my seventh grader. Mm. And that's just because, okay, once we're done with this subject, we move on to something else. Right. And, you know, we do all the subjects every day. And with my second grader, her longest day may be an hour to an hour and a half. Mm. And that is straight work time. That's not busy work. That's not, you know, right. any of that. That's strict lesson stuff. So, you know, if you're thinking you don't have time to homeschool, you do. You can do what you want to do. And, you know, the thing that bothers me so much is, um, you know, that parents are out there thinking, okay, I don't have the patience to do this, or I can't do right. this, or I don't have the education to do this, or I don't know how to do this. Well, the thing is, they're your kids. You know how to do it. Right. You know, there's websites out there like mine, you know, russellslovinglife.com and our YouTube channel where you can learn how to do all of this. Right. If you really, really want to do it, you can do it. Folks, you can you can talk with Becky before you make the plunge and she can give you, uh, you know, her thoughts and uh, talk one on one with you about what you're going through and what you can expect. And that's why we have them here, folks. We're trying to give you some answers. Uh, this this these people are purposely causing all this confusion and vexing the spirits of the people of Mississippi and of this country. They're doing it purposely. And what we're here to do is provide you with information so you can calm it down and realize we're going to get through this. They're going to lose. You and I, we're going to win. And it's not because we want to see their ears pinned back. We want to see these people trampled underfoot simply because what they're trying to do is so detrimental to future generations and we cannot allow it. Our number is 601-879-0002. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back, and it is Back to Christ Wednesday. We also want to remind you it's back to Rapid Tire Exchange there in Clinton, 953 Highway 80 in Clinton, right across from Rapid, uh, or excuse me, the Walmart uh, gas pumps, and right in back of Rapid Oil Change. If you need tires for your car, anything done with the undercarriage, uh, struts, struts uh, shocks, whatever you need, they can take care of it, folks. And plus, if you need an alignment, and if you need the air conditioning topped off, you need it checked out. You're going to get some folks who are going to give you the straight skinny. That's why I encourage you to develop a relationship with our good friends over there. Dave and Ken and the crew will take good care of you. You can actually go online, rapidtireexchange.com, and schedule your appointment, order your tires, and schedule the time you want to have them put on. They can do all that online. Uh, We just encourage you to check them out. Good folks, I commend them to you highly. They also have, if you want to outfit your truck, your ATV, SUV, anything with wheels on it, folks, they have tires, winches, lifts, 
lights. They have it all. ATV, assess, ATV, UTV, accessories, the whole nine yards. One stop shop for all of it. If you want、uh, bed covers, they have that. WeatherTech mats, they have that. Plus, they have great customer service. Check them out today, r a p i d t i r e e x c h a n g e c o m <clears throat> All right, we're back with the Russells. Becky Russell's in the studios. And Mike is here. Mike, you got any comments, son? Well, thanks for having us, Kim. It's an honor to sit here in Dixon's seat. There you like, go. Like I said, Becky's the brains of the outfit, and I just load the truck. So yeah, here, yeah. here we are. I do teach marine biology, however. In marine biology. For, for our class. That means we go fishing. There you go. Sounds like it's a, a, a job everybody's enjoying down there. All right, we have another special guest here in the studios.、Uh, Becky, who that, who's that sitting on your lap? This is Becca, and she is my second grader. Hi. <laughs> hey. What you, is your favorite part about homeschooling?、Uh, Staying in my pajamas. You like staying in your pajamas? Do you like being homeschooled? <laughs> yes. You do? All right. Well, she is my second grader and she is my shy one. So.、Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. And、uh, uh, now, Becky, do you,、uh, Becca, do you miss.、Uh, uh, well, you've never been to regular school, has she? Neither one of them have、okay. ever been to a public or private school. Okay, okay. So when they see you out playing in the street, because you guys, your school hasn't started back yet, has it? No, it has not. We just wrapped up our first day of vaca vacation. Summer vacation was actually their first day back, public school,、mm -hmm. on the 9th.、Okay. So that was our first.、Uh, we take off August and September.、Okay. And then we homeschool the rest of the time. Okay. Yeah, well, that's great. And uh, uh, Becca, we're expecting great things out of you. I don't know. You're not a discipline problem there, I'm sure, right? You got to answer. <laughs> can't, they can't see your head. No, I、sir. don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Well, you would know if you were a discipline problem. You, you, don't would, get you in wouldn't trouble, be able to you? sit down. I don't get in trouble. You don't get in trouble, no, you don't. Bless her heart. All right, you can go sit over there. All right, now who else do we have over there? We got the young fisherman there. Oh, yeah, Bailey's here too. He's my seventh grader. Hello, Mr. Bailey, sir. Hi. What's going on? Nothing really. <laughs> so you're in the seventh grade now, huh? You don't look like you're kind of short for seventh grade. I guess you're going to sprout up in the next couple years, huh? Well, height doesn't run in the family. <laughs> Well, all right then. So, what sports do you like?、Uh, karate.、Mm -hmm. And I think I played one season of football. Okay. Okay. Well, good. What, what belt do you have? A third degree black belt. Third degree black belt? Yes, sir. Watch out, man. He's, he's the chopper up in here, man. Let's have you break some boards here before you leave out of here. All right. <laughs> he might be breaking the desk. You better watch out. That's right. That's right. He's the chopper here. Well,、uh, it, it's, it sounds like you guys got them uh, 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 primed and ready to go. I've always seen the、uh, homeschoolers, they're always well disciplined.、Uh, they make good workers. They come out ready to learn.、Uh, you know, that's what, that was the purpose of people getting an education anyway, just to develop that aptitude so when somebody hires them, they have something to work with,、uh, you know,、uh, a, a base point. Well, and that's part of the thing that we do with homeschooling. It's not just we're sitting down teaching core subjects, we also teach life schooling. Like Mike said, you know, he teaches marine biology, that's fishing. Well, you know, we do all kinds of stuff. They have their own savings accounts where they learn how to write deposit slips. They learn how to、uh, do their registers and things like that.、Mm -hmm. It's not just all about the books, it's、mm -hmm. the, the life.、Mm -hmm. You know, that they get the、um, discipline from everything that they need from karate. Both of them are in there as well. And, you know, life skills is a part of life. And、mm -hmm. a lot of children, public and private schools, don't get that. Right. So, homeschooling, you know, we focus on the life skills, the cooking. They have chores. They both know how to wash their own clothes.、Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's just things that is important to us that they need to know for life. Wow. And they earn every dollar they get、There、that goes、go. in their savings account.、Mm -hmm. Yes, we do not just give them money. You know,、mm -hmm. you know birthdays and Christmas is when they get stuff.、Mm -hmm. But other than that, you know, Bailey has to cut the grass. Becca has her chores in the house. Bailey has his chores.、Mm -hmm. They have to do chores. Right. Right. And, 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 that's, and that's really needed. You, well, we all see the、uh, young folks who just don't know anything. Nobody's ever taught them how to mop a floor or do things like that. They've just never been taught. You know? No, and we can't blame them for that because, I mean, they, <laughs> no、right. one taught it to we, them. We, failed, we have failed them in so many areas. So,、uh, Mike, so, you, so you, you're the principal over there. So, how, how does that role work?、Uh, well, like I said, I just load the truck and teach marine biology. Mm hmm. And whatever the, uh, uh, the teacher tells you needs to be done. Right. I mean, we, don't, we don't have any discipline problems out of the kids.、Mm -hmm. uh, none, in, none at all. I mean,、mm -hmm. these kids are, you can see them, they can talk to a five year old or a 95 year old at whatever、mm -hmm. level they need to talk to. So、mm -hmm. 
we don't have any trouble out of them. Really good kids. Just a, just a blessing to have them. Awesome. And like I said, there's no bad kids. It basically boils down to what you have is bad parents. Mm-hmm. Well, the decision to homeschool came from you or her or both of you? Uh, it came from both of us. Um, basically, uh, Bailey was born early and mm-hmm. was very sick. Mm-hmm. And he stayed sick. Mm-hmm. And so our pediatrician told us, because he was in daycare up until three. And our pediatrician said, you know, his body can't take it, mm. that he needs to go home. So from that point on, we started looking into homeschooling because we knew that if he went into school, he would be sick then. But, you know, knock on wood now, since he's been homeschooled, I think he's had, you know, a couple ear infections, but mm-hmm. that, that's it. He mm-hmm. hadn't been near as sick as he was. Mm-hmm. So that was a thing. And then we wanted him to be raised, you know, with a Christian education. And, you know, we believe that history started with creation. Right. And, you know, that's the history we teach right. from the Bible. So the Bible's in our curriculum all through it. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing we wanted. And then we wanted to be able to teach them what we wanted them to know, not what so-and-so's mom taught them and, you know, things like that. We felt very strongly about it. And it was a conversation that we had, um, you know, because it was a sacrifice that we were going to have to make as parents. And we made that sacrifice for our kids because, you know, I, I don't work. I'm at home with the kids. So, you know, you, you have to focus on what's important and budgeting and cutting cost and things like that when you homeschool. Right. But it's a sacrifice that we felt we needed to do. Well, the whole approach to homeschooling, it, it, it takes some courage and that's what you're here to uh, leave people's concern about whether or not they have the adequate amount of courage to do. I guess you start out with the fact that you love your kids and you want the best for them. So that takes it a long way. It does. And, and everybody's why is different. That's a thing that, you know, with, with homeschool parents is, is what is your why? Mm-hmm. And, you know, you have to write it down or think about it. That That's something that you've got to have. You've got to have that why. Right. Again, we're talking with Becky and Mike Russell. Becky, you want to throw those uh, uh, websites and uh, the resource uh, that you have? Russellslovinglife.com. And my email is Becky at Russell's Loving Life. And check out our YouTube channel at Russell's Loving Life. Folks, this is a good opportunity now. Like I said, look. These the the people who lord over us, they do not have our best interests at heart. They're lying at every turn. Dr. Dobbs knows that there's an approach that will end this epidemic, so called pandemic world right now. Tate Reeves knows if he wants to know. They're not interested. They're interested in taking over our lives, in ruining the lives of our kids. What we're gonna do is take a break. Six oh one eight seven nine zero 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 two. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back. And it is, it's Wednesday, Back to Christ Wednesday. We also want to remind you, excuse me, uh, Victory Flags and More, which is right down the walkway from us here at WYAB, right next to the Pizza Hut. For all your flags uh, needs, if you want to have a flag made from your old state, old uh, college, university, or if you want to create one for your neighborhood association, which I think would be a great idea, you can identify where you live at by the flag that you're flying outside etc we encourage you to go to victoryflagsandmore.com as you know they also marketing geniuses down there if you want to market your uh business your brand uh lapel pins t-shirts hats uh bumper stickers mail outs the whole nine yards they can do it there at victory flags and more and plus they have a great reading selection also on the website you can check out if you're a history buff you want to know more about uh, those who have uh, fought and died for freedom they have great uh, inspirational books on there about that also Check them out, victoryflagsandmore.com. All right, with no further ado, we're back with Becky Russell and Mike, and we have Jack on the line. Hey, Jack. Yes, sir. Hey, Kim. Hey, man. On there? Yes, sir. Well, uh, first of all, I want to uh, applaud your guests there for what they're doing. Um, I was blessed to uh, grow up in a family that... Uh, my mother was an English teacher, and my grandmother uh, taught me manners. My father worked hard all his life, but I learned more around the kitchen table mm-hmm. about how to speak correctly than I did in, in all the school years I, I went through. And I went went to uh, college for two and a half years and then I went to work in the oil field Hmm. hurt my back but I had to learn how to do something else and that was sales 
And my mother had taught me English so well that I could talk to a ditch digger or the CEO of a company. And, you know, that is what got me through. So what you're doing is outstanding. I was kind of homeschooled at the kitchen table. Mm. But keep up the good work, and, and God bless you for it. And my grandmother was very much a Christian, so I got that. And uh, anyway, that's that's <laughs> all I had to say. I think you're doing a great job. And when you said, uh, is it Becky? It is. Becky, when you said you don't work, I have to differ with you on that. Well, I don't work outside the home. Let's put it that way, because uh, I work from sun up to sundown, pretty much. You work. I do. Well, thank you Y'all so much for that. Thank God you, God. Much. Appreciate it. You have some more things there you want to touch on? Did uh, yeah, we've I mean we've pretty much touched on everything that I had there. Um, I just want to let parents know that if you if the financial issue is a burden with homeschooling, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to homeschool. Well, okay. There are several websites out there that you can go to. Um, if you're looking for a Christian one, it's easy peasy, all in one homeschool. Um, everything is on the computer there. There is K-12, which is a public school type thing. If you're looking for the more secular, because I know there are secular homeschoolers out there, um, that's an option. But go to russellslovinglife.com or our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel, and you can check those out. If you want some more information and you don't find it on my website, make sure to send me an email at Becky at Russell's Loving Life. Becky at Russell's Loving Life dot, life dot com. I can't talk. Sorry, guys. Mm-hmm. And um, I will answer any question you have and just put in the comments either Kim Wade or question just to make sure that I see it and answer it because I do get lots of emails and I want to make sure I get yours answered. What about uh, give us an idea of different age groups coming? I you got folks right now thrown into this situation where homeschooling is being considered let's say you got someone you know uh, say from you got the parents has kids from three to five or six what do you is there anything you recommend starting them out because this is their first time out and from say seven to ten is there anything you need to well a lot of homeschool curriculums are where you can teach subjects all in one Mm -hmm. um you know like i use my father's world and they have uh, kindergarten, preschool type curriculums. But if you have a second grader all the way up to an eighth grader, you can teach them the same Bible, the same history, and the same science. So it makes life so much easier. Mm-hmm. So you're teaching more than one kid at a time. And um, it's just great that way. Right. Yeah, because uh, I'd imagine parents out there trying to figure out, well, my child is uh, he's in the fourth grade now. And, uh, I don't know what he doesn't know, uh, you know. Because yeah, the and testing, all that stuff really, you know. Well, a lot of the math curriculums out there are going to ask you to take a placement test to see exactly where your child is, and they'll tell you what you need to know there. Okay. And then a lot of the curriculums um, that I use have, are all curriculums, I do reviews on them on my website, on my YouTube channel, and um, they have where you can preview them to see what's what. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them start off with reviewing things from the previous year and moving forward. So, and a lot of homeschool parents will get a curriculum and it doesn't fit. And what I tell everybody is if it doesn't fit, stop using it and, you know, do some research and see what you need. Um, if you don't know what you need, then try to figure out your child's learning style, try mm-hmm. to figure out where they are and, and things like that and start with some basics. Right. And then you can always build off of those basics. Uh, that's a good question uh, about uh, the starting point. Does the homeschool association, or is there such a thing as a homeschool association by uh, state, county, or city, or anything like that? There is not. Okay. Uh, there's is, several groups. Yeah, homeschool there's, ho- there's groups homeschool and, groups, and, uh, and you can talk with other homeschool moms and that can help you with things. But um, a lot of states, I know Tennessee has one, and one of the Carolinas, I forget which one. Um, it's called an umbrella school, yeah. and they'll help you with things like that. But that, here in Mississippi, we do not have that. Is there uh, a date or a Saturday or something you can uh, make available for people who might want to just come in and get their questions answered? They didn't get to hear all the show. Uh, I guess they can go to your website and you know, uh, you know, get contact with you. But you know, if you might want to get three or four people together, who you know, kind of save some, you know, yeah. Going um, I'm I'm available. We can come up with something and, and figure it out. Right. Because I love supporting and encouraging other homeschool moms and or dads because there are some dads out there that are staying home and moms working. Mm-hmm. 
So, you know, it's it's a homeschool family. It's not right. just all all about mom that does it. Mm-hmm. Some even do it at night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, night schooling. Yeah. And uh, uh, folks, again, because you do, uh, well, you should have uh, control of the child in terms of discipline. That's less of a problem in terms of the distraction of the child actually getting the material. And then uh, once they get the fundamentals down, reading, writing, arithmetic, it actually gets easier when they can stay focused. You keep your kids off the video games and stuff like that so their mind don't get distracted with all the... Correct. You know. Correct, yeah. Ours, um, they have educational video games that they play, and if they play those, it's limited time. Um, you know, our, our children don't have smart cell phones. Mm-hmm. Uh, my son has a, has a flip phone, and <laughs> his friends pick on him about that. And, you know, if you do decide to homeschool, just know that no matter what you do, somebody's always going to find something wrong about it, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and then your children are going to hear things too. Mm -hmm. So it's just something that you have to teach your children and you have to develop some thick skin just to deal with, with things, you know, a lot of homeschool parents out there are, you know, um, we get the thing about just being taught out of a Bible. We just teach them Bible. That's all we teach them. Mm -hmm. And, And that's not true. Right. You know, and like a lot of kids will say, Oh, you don't, you know, your parents give you your grades. You don't earn your grades. Uh, my children earn every grade they get, good, bad, or ugly. Mm-hmm. We got every test they've ever taken mm-hmm. yes. filed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and here in the state of Mississippi, we're not required to keep records, mm-hmm. but I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, one day that may change. I have every single piece of paper. I'm going to have to rent a storage facility somewhere <laughs> at some point to put all these records that I have. <laughs> but I want it to be there because I don't want anyone to ever come back and say, well, you didn't teach them this. You didn't right. show them that. They have you no didn't. way of proving it. Right. And so I have every paper that, and every test and every grade. I even have a grade book, mm-hmm. you know. And so that, that's a thing that you're going to hear if you decide to homeschool your children. You know, it, it's, it's a blessing. I love being able to do it. I love supporting and encouraging other homeschool moms. But there's so much negativity out there about homeschoolers that you've just got to develop some thick skin about it. What about uh, uh, working with other homeschoolers? Uh, students what does the state allow or dis- disallow in the state of mississippi we can do whatever there's uh, homeschool groups where we can get together um there's homeschool co-ops where you have either parents led or other teachers led that you pay that are great resources i know when bailey gets into high school and has to start doing some dissection stuff mm-hmm. i'm going to sub that out to somebody <laughs> <laughs> you know some great resources that we have um in Anything you want to do, it's available. I mean, mm-hmm. if you want to spend a ton of money or if you want to do it for free, you can do it. It's just what you want to do and what you're able to do. But if you want to do it, you will find a way to get it done. Awesome. Mike, you got any comments? Uh, I can't think of any right now. All right. Our number is 601-879-0002. Throw out those uh, uh, web resources, website. Uh, website is russellslovinglife.com. Our YouTube channel is Russell's Loving Life, and my email is Becky at Russell's Loving All right, we're going to take a break. Our number is 601 879 002. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we've been giving you the information today. Well, Becky has, Be- Becky and Mike Russell here in the studios talking about homeschooling. It can be done. Folks, listen. We have to take our we have to take our own responsibility for our kids. These folks are hell bent on destroying society. They don't care lives families kids jobs it's just gratuitous you have to have some sense for yourself we have becky russell she's going to talk about accreditation go ahead yes here in the state of mississippi you don't have to have anything there is no accreditation in the state of mississippi but if you want your child to graduate from high school you generate their transcript you have to follow the guidelines for high school they have to have all the electives and classes that they need um, from the state board of education of mississippi and then they have to take the act or the sat and then you just submit their transcript to whatever college they want to go to mm-hmm. folks it's it's doable you need to do it and plus you'll save your child from being exposed to all the foolishness that is known as public schools nowadays they spend hours on hours every week on stuff that has nothing to do with reading writing and arithmetic And then your child is out there in the world unprepared to do anything other than having a a feeling about something. And you want more than that. You want someone who can think. You just heard that they're two young kids and they're, again, they're responsible, they're educated, and they're going to continue to be able to contribute and stand on their own two feet. That's what you want. That's the goal. Like my parents told us, 
We don't want you coming back roosting on the, on the doorstep at 18. We want you gone. When you head out that door, stay gone. And that's, what, that's the whole purpose of raising kids. So, Becky and、uh, Mike, we want to commend you guys for what you're doing and、uh, just keep doing what you're doing, being an example, and you're raising some fine kids over there, my man. Well, tell Dixon it was just an honor to sit in his seat today. <laughs> well, look, you, you, you're keeping him warmer than he does because、uh, he's hit and miss on the、uh, showing up here. But when he shows up, he's, he's lively. And, Becky, you got anything else you want to say to the ladies and gentlemen out there? No,、uh, there, are, there are no dumb questions.、Mm-hmm. So, if you have a question about homeschooling, send me the question.、Uh, just put in the subject question or Kim Wade to Becky at Russell's Loving Life.com. If you want、uh, to check out our YouTube channel, go to Russell's Loving Life on YouTube. And also check out our website, which is Russell's Loving Life.com. What about extracurricular activities,、um, going on field trips and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. You, there is. <laughs> We do、there's, all kinds of There's groups that h a s several field trips and stuff、mm-hmm. like Some of them, I mean, you wouldn't run out of stuff to do with stuff like that if、mm-hmm. you needed to. No, here in the Jackson area, there are several homeschool groups that、um, you can be a part of.、Um, there's Jackson Metro Homeschool Group. There's several different ones out there that are amazing.、Um, and so your, your children have no problem. Socialization、mm-hmm. is one of the big things that we get.、Oh, well, how do you socialize your children? Well, I mean, come on, I socialize them the same way you do. I send、mm-hmm. them to you know, extracurricular activities. They do sports. We do field trips. They have friends.、Mm-hmm. Yes, homeschoolers do have friends. <laughs> so they're not pariahs in the neighborhood. Oh, those are the homeschoolers.、Like、no, we、something. have the Kool Aid house. Everybody's at our house every yeah, day. Yeah, everybody's at ours. Awesome. The- awesome. That's the yard everybody comes to play in. Well, look, we commend you. We, we send a hat tip out there to you. I don't know if we got another caller before we go out of here. Yeah.、Uh, We do, we do want to,、uh, again, have you throw out the information how they can contact you. And、uh, just not only now, but anytime they have questions regarding homeschooling. Oh, yeah, definitely. Anytime you have questions, like I said, there are no dumb questions. Believe me, when I first started homeschooling, I picked the brains of so many awesome homeschool moms. And,、mm-hmm. you know, I just want to give it back like I can.、Um, so send me an email with a question to Becky at Russell's Loving Life.com. My blog is Russell's. LovingLife.com and my YouTube channel is Russell's Loving Life. <laughs> All right. I see <laughs> That's a, theme, a lot of Russell's. I see a pattern here. <laughs> I see a pattern. Well, congratulations and, and, and to Becca and Bailey. You guys are doing great over there. And Mike, you did. You, you made good choices, son.、Huh? You done good. Thanks for having us on, Kim. Well, it's Thanks, good to、Kim. have you here, man. If y'all have any questions or comments, please drop them below. I love hearing from you. I love supporting and encouraging as many homeschool parents as I can. I know these days that there are lots of homeschooling mamas and homeschooling daddies. So, this video was for you. Drop me a question if you have one or send me an email. I love answering them for you. And if I don't know the answer, I will get with some homeschooling mamas and find you an answer. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.